arc length and area of a sector and radians is Mr. Robs. And Mrs. Flynn. Right, and so uh, previously we had talked about arc length and area of sector in terms of degrees, and the formula was a little bit different. This one's for Pim. He loves radians. Okay. So, I don't know Pim. Oh, is that Bart's brother? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, we have these two formulas that we need to hang on to. Uh, where, same as before, I'm going to get a pen working. We have our circle. And here's theta and radians, and here's R. Here's the length, and the whole thing is the area. <laughs> Let's go try... An example then. Let's. I know L equals R theta, and area equals one half R. One half theta yeah. R squared. Theta R squared. Okay. So we're asked to calculate the area of the sector AOB. We have this whole sector here, where we know the radius is 15, and the angle theta two is two radians. Okay, so if we want to find the area of the sector, just use the equation. Use the equation. Use the yep, so area equals one half times two times 15 squared. 15 squared. Make sure your calculator is in radian mode. All right, so I can cancel out those. 15 squared. Oh. Is that 225? Yeah. Or, two, or 625. It's 225, no, I think. They don't need the calculator in radian modes. They don't need it. Not, not until they actually not do a sine or a cosine. Okay which we will do. Um, and so the unit for this is centimeters squared. Next part, area of the shaded region. Well, in order to get the area of the shaded region, I have the whole region. If I could find the area of the triangle, and if I subtract the triangle from the whole thing, I'm left with the shaded. We learned that a while back. The formula for that right. was area okay. is... Half, half, yeah. A, B, Co sine of C. All right, so I know it's half. A is the side. Opposite, yeah, 15. And this, we've got 15. Times 15. 15. They're both radiuses. Sine of two radians. Now, this is where we need our calculator. All right. So, point 0.5. Times 15 squared. 15 squared. Times sine. sine of 2. Now let's make sure that we are in radians. Oh, it is in radians, so we are golden. Oh, come on, calculator. Okay. Enter. So that is. Round of two oh. significant figures. It's 103, I believe. 103. Zero. Why is it round up? It's point two. It's not round up. Oh, it's not point two. <laughs> I was looking at the nine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> One zero two. That's right. But it's hard to see when the computer when the calculator is covered off. Okay, so one zero two. <laughs> All right, so one zero two, and that is uh, units are we in? centimeters squared. So we want to find the shaded region. Oh, hold on a second. We're not done. Hold on a second. We're not done. Let's keep our decimals because I think it might make a difference in just a bit. Let's keep those decimals. I want to find the area of the shaded part. So I'm going to, if I call this area 1 and this area 2. It's A1 minus A2. All right, the shaded equal to a1 minus a2, which will be 225 minus 102.29. And so if I go 225 minus 102.29, enter, I get 122.7. When I round this to three significant figures, it is 123 centimeters squared. Right. Yeah. So we have to, oh, I'm glad we did this because we got our significant figure <laughs> debate about what, yeah. what we're doing. Because this rounding, people it's are... It's the same. Yeah. And it would have been, yeah. It's the same answer, yeah. Yeah.
Okay, here we go. So that's the final answer for B part. And then C part says find the length of arc AB. Well, L equals R theta. Right, equals R theta. So it's 15 times 2, which is a simple 30 centimeters. centimeters. All right. One more to go. This one says the length of arc AB is 24, and the area of the sector is 180 centimeters squared. Find R and theta. So we'll have two equations of two unknowns. All right. So here L equals R theta, which is doing what you know. All right. 24, and the other one. 108 equals a half theta r squared. What was it? Theta r squared. Theta r squared. Theta r squared. You can just set them both equal to theta. Okay. Let's do that. So I have 24, 24 over r is theta. And here, let's make this 216 equals over r, r squared. squared equals theta. Okay, set them equal to each other. Okay. 24 r. over r equals 216 over r squared. We can cross multiply. And so I get 24 r squared equals 216 r. And bring it all to one side. Minus 216 r is 0. Factor out an r. Okay. R, yeah. mm -hmm. 24 r minus 216 0 and so r is 0 well that, that can't, can't be happen. 24 r minus 216 equals 0 so r equals 216 divided by 24 oh divided by 24 i don't know what that is 216 divide by 24. Oh, what did I do wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's just slow reacting to. Nine. Who? R is nine centimeters. centimeters. Done. Ten. Oh, I have to find theta? Oh, geez. Gotta go back to theta. It's a Friday afternoon. <laughs> so 24 over nine is, I wish I was done, theta. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave that. As that. Can we reduce that at all? No. Oh, divided by three. three. Eight and Eight third. thirds. I learned something that if you don't reduce your fractions to simplest forms, you lose a point on your IV exam. Yep. Crazy as that sounds. Here you go.